visitors. They're on their way. We gotta get out of here. The resistors' headquarters will be destroyed in a deadly raid. They'll have a plan to strike back, but Donovan will be caught during his quest for his son and forced to tell all to Diana. There will be one last chance to save Julie from the conversion chamber, and Diana's greatest wish may come true. The world will at last witness the birth of Robin's baby. Welcome, boys and ghouls, to another installment of Monster Mike's Mayhem. On today's special sci-fi installment, I'd like to talk about the little lesser-known TV series in the early 1980s. None other than V, The Visitors. Back in 19... 82, there was a little TV show that came on NBC and CBS back in the day. They were fighting for the time slots, and they wanted to make some kind of a sci-fi type movie because of Star Wars and stuff. Predecessors before it in the movie theaters were making some, banking some big cash bucks, and they wanted to hone in on pretty much any kind of sci-fi properties they can get their hands on. And this movie script fell on the his executive producer's desk back in the day. And they uh, picked up the pilot episode and started producing this TV series. I remember being a child, a uh, very young a little boy, uh, maybe not so young, but, you know, I, 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 I guess you could consider, you know, between the ages of, uh, nine and 10 being still pretty young. Um, I remember sitting up with my father, uh, in our, uh, family room, turning, tuning into this TV station and watching this t series back in the day in the early eighties, like I mentioned, um, this was a big deal. Um, and uh, back in uh, 81, 82 ish, uh, they started releasing these TV shows and stuff. And, you know, like with Dallas, competing with Dallas and stuff like that. And primetime TV slots like Dukes of Hazard and um, Incredible Hulk and stuff. And uh, this was supposed to be a pilot, and then it was just supposed to be a flop. And then it actually took off, and they did like a mini series, And then they did like what they call the final battle with Michael Ironside and stuff. But um, in front of you is a 1981, I think it was an 82 or 83 uh, Arco Toys. The Resistance 45er. And sound pistol and holster. So this pistol was electronic. It made a noise. So it sounded like gunfire. And you can see it's a resistance pistol. And uh, you've got, um, it says ricochet sounds. No batteries required. This was one of those kind of toys you would find a rack toy at your local toy store or Hooks Drug Store or Hills Drugs, you know, Hills, the department store back in the early 80s. Do you guys remember Hills and stuff? You monsters out there in Monsterland. Uh, these toys were um, not so sought after. Nobody really gave a hoot about them. I don't even remember this 45 er uh, ricochet shot pistol from uh, 82, 83 from Arco. I didn't collect Arco toys. Now, at the time, Arco was competing with LJN trying to get the toys out for the Christmas seasons and stuff between 82 and 83 before the series flopped on its face. But 
by the time Michael Ironside and all them guys joined, it was in his free fall. Now, if you guys ever watch this TV series, you probably remember a favorite character that was kind of goofy, uh, wore goggles and uh, stuff, and, and none other than Robert Englund. Your favorite Freddy Krueger from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street series and stuff, you know, old Robert, he played a character. He was a visitor with the V characters, and he was a lizard creature under his mask, but he was a, kind of a good guy. He kind of helped him out. He helped the resistance fighters out. This was supposed to be like a spin on, like, Nazism of the 1980s. Um, you can picture, uh, uh, there's like a V poster on a wall in the series. And I remember it was like, it was like a visitor in a red and black suit with goggles, like glasses, real big, uh, mirrored glasses. And he had a gun on his holster and people would walk up and, uh, it was like, um, propaganda and they would take a red spray paint can and spray V on the, and that's where you get that famous V symbol for the TV series back in the day. And uh, they would spray V on the poster stating that they are visitors. They are no good. They, they cannot be trusted. And by this miniseries conclusion, they found out that these people are here not only to not to befriend us, but to actually take over the earth and uh, use this uh, as food and water material sources. They kind of go around and take up worlds and, and use them up because they need them for their, um, you know, personal uses. And um, it, it's kind of like one of those, uh, you know, things with... Uh, those, you know, those main main uh, things with with uh, sci-fi uh, scary movies, the aliens are actually the bad guys, and they're really coming to peace on Earth, but it's really not peace. It's it's some other, uh, you know, uh, devious scheme they got up their sleeve. So, uh, yeah, these um, these uh, toys were produced by a company called Arco. They went under pretty quickly. LJN followed suit a few years later. They uh, The only thing that LJN could make, so you can see the back is just made of just a hard cardboard paper. And there's a little uh, scan uh, uh, bar up there at the top to scan the toy in when you purchase it at the register. And that is pretty much the Resistance 45er with sounds and holster from 1983. Um, like I said, LGN was only able to produce one item, which was the V doll. I will be doing a video on it coming up soon. Um, other than that, they were planning a whole toy line of, of little uh, landing shuttle crafts and uh, resistance fighter vehicles like Jeeps and cars and little um, V figures and little resistant fighter figures and stuff from uh, with the um, G.I. Joe body types. And there's actual magazines back in the day that you could like find and see the actual prototypes being ready for release, but the release date was canceled because the show flopped. The miniseries went nowhere. And I remember thinking, wow, this is just not going anywhere. It's getting boring. And I, I literally own, uh, the, uh, I own a box set of the many series and the final battle on VHS. And I own the DVD, uh, you know, couple disc set, uh, from back in the early, uh, 19, uh, late nineties, early two thousands that I still own to this day. I have other merchandise memorabilia from this uh, TV series. Like I said, LGN and Arco, the only two that made anything that I know of now, there was t-shirts given out. I do have a rare small t-shirt, promotional t-shirt from 82 or 83. 
uh, for like a little kid to sport around. It was just black with a red V mark on the front of it, and that was it. It was registered trademark, v, you know, from the TV mini series. Um, they made uh, uh, hard, you know, like uh, softback uh, no novelizations of the TV series and stuff, comic books, stuff like that. Now, besides this and some other pieces from Arco and LGN only made the doll, they did make some stuff in like uh, South America, like Argentina and Italy jumped on board and made some knockoff loosely based on the V TV miniseries of the 1980s. I'll be showing you guys some of that in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, all you monsters out there, if you're thirsting for knowledge on this kind of propaganda V, the miniseries kind of stuff. Stay tuned, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll shoot you some knowledge about some of this stuff, but, um, yeah, um, I picked this bad boy up, and I believe it was 2014, about 10 years ago. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, uh, Br uh, Brian Bradford, he lives out uh, in Las Vegas. I just came from there about a month ago on vacation, hit some haunted sites, and messed around, and, you know, did a little bit of this and that some toy hunting, um, he, um, he, uh, has been there for years, he's lived there most of his life, and he, uh, happened to have this for sale on, uh, a Facebook group, and I very rarely buy stuff on Facebook, especially lately, I've used to buy stuff years and years ago, constantly, if I know the seller, I will buy it, but if I don't know him, uh, good luck, but I purchased this V45, fiber um from him beautiful card i think it is missing the um v official um um resistance fighter uh membership uh card like a it's like a card that goes right here and it must have got ripped and slid out and fell out of the card Brian said he bought it like that years ago and sold it to me. I think I got it for maybe 25 bucks in 2014. Um, I think it was a really good deal. Personally. So, if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe. And until next time, kiddies, stay tuned and get monstified. The visitors are on their way. We gotta get out of here. The resistors headquarters will be destroyed in a deadly raid. They'll have a plan to strike back. The Donovan will be caught during his quest for his son and forced to tell all to Diana. There will be one last chance to save Julie from the conversion chamber. And Diana's greatest wish may come true. The world will at last witness the birth of Robin's baby.